The Cocteau Twins were formed in the town of Grangemouth, Scotland, in 1979. Grangemouth is an industrial town, located halfway between Glasgow and Edinburgh. The town is in the Falkirk area, and has a population of about 20,000. Robin Guthrie first met Elizabeth Fraser, at a disco at the International Hotel. He was the DJ that night, and something about her dancing caught his attention. Soon after they started a relationship, and began playing music together, with another schoolmate on bass, Will Heggie. The band took their name from an early Simple Minds song, which would later be called No Cure. The group rehearsed regularly, at the Grangemouth Town Hall, and soon recorded a demo with a few songs. One band they all admired was The Birthday Party, which was signed to the 4AD record label. At a birthday party gig, Robin was somehow able to get the 4AD address from the drummer, so that he could send his demo to the record label. Ivo Watts Russell, then head of 4AD, quickly signed the band and encouraged them to record their first album, which was released in July, 1982. The album would be called Garlands, recorded at Blackwing Studio in London. The band also got some help from BBC Radio DJ, John Peel, who became a fan from the very start, and would promote them on his programme. Two EPs would soon follow, Lullabies, and Peppermint Pig. For the next album, Head Over Heels, the band would become a duo without a bassist. Simon Raymond would join as bassist in 1984, and would appear for the first time on the album Treasure. The artistic graphic design was the work of a team called 23 Envelope. They handled most of the artwork for the 4AD record label. The band would receive a great deal of praise from the British music press, culminating in one memorable review for the album Treasure, in Melody Maker, which described them as the voice of God, and it surely wasn't very far from the truth. During 1985, Treasure would be followed by a series of mind-blowing EPs, plus a compilation album. In 1986, Copter Twins would release a very relaxing and spacey album, Victoria Land, and later that year, a magical EP, Love's Easy Tears. In late 1986, there was also a collaborative album with Harold Budd, The Moon and the Melodies. In 1988, the Copter Twins obtained a distribution deal with Capitol Records in the United States, and took advantage of it with an outstanding album, Blue Bell Known, which many consider their best. Blue Bell Noel, and subsequent Copter Twins albums, would be recorded at their new studio, which they called September Sound. The studio is located in Twickenham, on the banks of the River Thames. Twins would reach their greatest success in 1990 with the album Head Nor Las Vegas, which coincided with the birth of Robbins and Elizabeth's daughter, Lucy Bell. The world tour would reach 11 countries, landing in Buenos Aires, Argentina in April of 1991. Here are some photos from that event. The album, Heaven or Las Vegas, would be successful all over the world, and would garner the Cocteau Twins some mentions in Rolling Stone magazine. Number 1 College Album, and number 21 in the Top 50 Albums chart. Plus a positive review of their show in New York City, at the Beacon Theatre.
Following their tour, the band would eventually leave 4AD, but would continue on with two more albums. In 1993, they released the Evangeline single, followed by Bluebeard, and finally the very beautiful album, Four Calendar Café. In 1995, the Cocteau Twins reappeared with two EPs, and in 1996, their final album, Milk and Kisses, 